I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video to find average and instantaneous rate of change. So we will have two examples in this particular video. I have many videos on this topic. You can always search for Anil Kumar rate of change playlist to see other videos. The question here is, a thermometer is taken from a room where the temperature is 20 degrees centigrade to the outdoors where the temperature is 5 degrees centigrade. Temperature readings capital T are taken every half an hour and shown below. Find the average rate of change of temperature over the interval 1 to 3. So when we say average rate of change, rate of change, we are only talking about two values, right? And the formula will be difference of temperature, temperature at 3 minus temperature at 1 divided by 3 minus 1, right? 3 minus 1. That becomes average rate of change. So from the table, you can always read the values. So the idea is how to read the values from the table and then do the needful as asked in the question. So in this particular case, when T is 3, right? At that time, the temperature is 6.5. So we'll write 6.5 minus, when T is 1, it is 12, divided by 3 minus 1, which is 2, correct? So you can use the calculator now. Take a calculator, figure this out. We got 6.5 minus 12, and divide this by 2. You get minus 2.75. So we get minus 2.75. Now, all the time when you have this, you should always write units, right? So temperature is in degree centigrade, so degree centigrade per time is in hours, right? So per hour. So this time is in hours and the temperature is in degree centigrade. So that is how you should do them. Include units, that's very important. Purposely the units were missed here to draw your attention later. Negative means that the temperature is falling, correct? Now let's do one more example based on the same data. Here's the second one. So it says a temperature is taken from a room where the temperature is 20 degrees centigrade to the outdoors where the temperature is 5 degrees centigrade. Temperature readings T are taken every half an hour and shown below. Find the instantaneous rate of change of temperature at t equals to 2, right? At t equals to 2. So this is what you are interested in finding, instantaneous rate of change. Now in the previous example, we did average rate of change. So we had two values, so we could divide by something and find average. Now when you do instantaneous rate of change, in that case, uh, how are you going to do? Now there are three different methods. Right? There are three different methods which could be used. One is to use preceding values. One is to use following values. And one is to use centered value. Right. So, so what we will do here is that we will use the center value. That means we will find average rate of change using these two, where two is in the center, correct? And that also gives us fairly good uh, value for the instantaneous rate of change at a point, correct? Which is when t equals to two in this case. So we can write velocity is rate of change at 2.5. So, so we say temperature at 2.5 minus temperature at 1.5 divided by 2.5 minus 1.5. Is it okay? So we are finding velo uh, I mean uh, rate of change, I should say, uh, rate of change of temperature at 2. Is it okay? At t equals to 2. 2 hours, that means. Is it okay? Now, let's substitute the values. At 2.5, it is 7.2. Take away at 1.5, it is 9.8 divided by 
2.5 minus 1.5 is 1. So let's use the calculator to find this out. Is it okay? 7.2 take away 9.8 equals to minus 2.6. Minus 2.6 units are change in temperature, which is degree centigrade over R. Is it okay? So that is the instantaneous, let me write instantaneous rate of change. Instantaneous rate of change of temperature at 2. So the method used was centered value. And we found this to be 2.6 degree centigrade per hour. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand how to use data in a table to find average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change. I'll appreciate if you share and write comments on my videos. Thank you and all the best.